Yo, yeah, what's going on guys? Today I am hoping you're going to enjoy another skin gameplay just because I felt like this one is actually, I thought it was a new skin and it actually said introduced in season 3. Now that is a very, very, very long time ago. I don't know if you guys remember when season 3 was, but that was the John Wick season. So it was very, very long ago and the skin is called Highland Warrior and it is an epic outfit and you can actually have two styles to it. Default style is actually without the mask and then the other one is, at, well, it's actually a helmet but it kind of looks more of a mask and this skin obviously is the female version of the battle hound skin now i do myself have the battle hound skin but i don't know how old it is i'm just trying to find it in my locker because i have over 400 skins so it's very hard to find skins i could just search it but my xbox takes very very long to find it so i'm going to try and find it in just a second i have found it and it's actually introduced in season three as well now i picked this up the second time it came into the store i can't remember exactly when the battle hound skin came in into the store but there's actually no styles on the battle hound skin you can't take off the mask or you can't take you know have it on which is what it is always constantly on and that's obviously the male version and we've actually got two souls of the battle hound because we've got the molten battle hound skin which was introduced in season eight and that was a part of a legends a lava's legend set as well in fortnite and obviously that was released in season eight and uh, you got like three skins i believe you did you got the molten one you got the molten valakry skin which is obviously flames and then you got something i swear you got something else for it maybe that was it oh yeah you got something else you got the molten omen skin as well which was obviously fire it was like a fire skin pack white that's why it's called lava set as well and it was it was really really cool but i'm surprised with the battle hounds we haven't got a style to take it off or on the mask and i actually thought this was a new skin in the item shop today i almost put that as like the title but then i realized hang on it says introduced in season three and i have not seen that skin for a very very long time because i myself would have picked it up i normally like to pick up these skins and i normally like to do cer certain skin gameplays i don't always do one like new skin gameplays every single day i only do it on certain ones that the ones i think look really nice and the ones that i would recommend as well now as you're watching this skin gameplay i think it's usually two days later after i've like edited this video i still want to try and do like a day ahead but eventually i will because normally i wake up i play fortnite and then i will edit and they already have been two days ahead of that schedule if that makes sense I'm hoping I can explain it the best I can and if you are picking anything up new in the item shop and you don't have a supporter creator code added in the item shop if you want to support any creator that's fine you can support anyone but mine will be on the screen and that is Isaac as well and remember I do get paid for it as well I'm really glad that I finally changed my creator code name just to my name instead of having that like triple x and then a the line and then my name and then it was like double x or something like that as well in the store we've actually got a new camera wrap finally I can't remember the last time we actually got a new camera wrap and that was the splattered spectrum i haven't got it myself it is actually animated and it does look really really nice it is a rarity camera wrap as well and the other skin is the brawler and the tango skin i haven't got the tango skin i mainly like buy like the featured ones but the hush one is in the store which i haven't picked up either i'm just not gonna bother also on the special offers is still the oro skin and the glider the skeleton skin as well in the store they've been in there since the slurps legends pack but the slurps legends pack actually got removed yesterday or like this morning i believe as the clocks have gone forward now in the uk as well now i'm not too sure what like what skin i'm going to be using for ages because i did actually ask you guys like do you want me to keep switching up skins or do you want me to like use it for like three days okay for some reason this like whole frame rate just completely dropped my pc almost just froze for a second it was going really weird so very sorry about that hopefully this footage is fine it's doing it again and i don't know why all right so hopefully my my footage is fine it literally just cut out like it was going really choppy so i'm sorry if you guys saw that hopefully it's okay now my pc like just froze for a second there i don't know why it did that my pc's been like fine for ages i don't know if it's just because it's hot in this room i really really don't know so hopefully fingers crossed this is fine and we were talking about i think the skins as well and obviously i have over 400 skins and i asked a lot of you guys if you wanted me to like switch up skins and use that one for like three days or two days or one day and then keep switching and you said yeah try and like switch up the skins so i am trying to switch up the skins because i did ask if you wanted me to use just a dead fire skin and i would have but I, the reason why i don't like using just a dead fire because i feel like myself i will only like overuse it if that makes sense and it won't be my go-to skin even though it still is so hopefully this footage is fine I, that's why i always look over here as well for like where i'm recording i should do like a behind the scenes one day of like what it looks like when i record i kind of have and i kind of haven't but let me know what you guys are you guys are doing 
everything down below in the comment section with this whole quarantine apparently it's now the lockdown again is like moved to june because in the uk it was actually only locked down for about three weeks now it's actually in june so i mean i'm still doing it till like july as well i've been on lockdown for quite a while like two weeks or over two weeks i can't really remember the last time i actually went to work which was i think it was early in march or something like that but going back to the skin i feel like i'm gonna use the skin quite often as well considering you can take off the helmet as well i don't know why it's a helmet it looks more of a mask than a helmet which is weird and also the description reads i normally read the descriptions of the skins and it actually says of the highland warrior skin the description says the shadow of ulster i think that's how you pronounce it part of the loach set i think that's how you pronounce it i'm so bad at pronouncing names sometimes i don't even bother saying it but like i said selectable styles it is weird how the battle hound skin is a legendary skin and we don't have the style for it to take off the helmet which i feel like with the battle hound skin you actually should be able to take off the helmet because that would be really cool i think that would be a good you know what thing fortnite maybe they might do it in the future because they have done with certain skins like with the brainier skin we got a zombie pink got you know looking variant as well and that was only uncommon which was really cool to see fortnite do that now i actually am getting kind of close to 600 solar wins i am on 572 solar wins so i'm like 28 wins away from 600 solar wins i could like literally play solos all day by myself i literally could or i could do some live gameplays for like hours and hours and hours and i feel like yeah i want to a part of me is like i want to play solos all day but a part of me is like no because it's just so stressful and it can be very very stressful i might force myself and then maybe i might play solos a bit more because i only need one win per day touch wood for me to upload like monday sunday of me winning like you know my first victory royale as well i just post it no matter what if it's zero kills if it's one kill if it's you know like just a heal off as well which half the time it is i actually can't remember how i won in this game i think i had to be aggressive again i actually thought it was a 1v1 i think i got about three elims i'm pretty sure because i think i thought it was a 1v1 and i killed a guy i was like wait what why haven't i got it and there was someone else i'm pretty sure that's what happens and i will try and actually show the replay mode maybe i do want to do that and let me know if you guys want me to show the replay mode of me actually using it like you know going in third person and seeing like where the other guys actually are i think that would be pretty cool i'll try and like switch up the editing a little bit more as you guys know i'm doing more editing on these videos as i've always in july literally right now in a couple months time it'll be four years of me editing as well which is insane and i can't believe i've been doing youtube for four years as well and last year and this year so far are the best two years of me doing youtube so thank you for the continuous support on just supporting me daily day by day sometimes twice a day which is update days and like on the news update days as well which i don't know tomorrow so right now recording this recording this it is actually a monday so i don't know if tomorrow on the tuesday is going to be update day and i don't know if it's going to be 6 a.m in the uk time because normally the downtime was always at about i think 10 or 11 a.m i'm pretty sure it was 10 or 11 a.m i'm gonna say and then it would go down for about an hour or sometimes two hours depending on like what it is usually new seasons roll out and that's like three hours we've had downtime for so we could be expecting an hour tomorrow and it could be absolutely nothing i might do an update day i usually do do update days but if it's absolutely nothing if it's like one thing if it's a good thing i will talk about it but if it's not i will not just talk about it because i don't see the point in talking about it if it's like when the launch pads only came in i didn't do an update day there was no point i just thought everyone's already done it and it's just not really any point if it was just update day so hopefully my footage is fine it seems fine now which is weird that my pc's only done that once or twice and i am still using obs studios as well and the only good thing about obs studios is when i record it doesn't actually cut out anymore as well because on my el gato when i used to do live gameplays the actual gameplay itself sometimes would like split so i'd have to resync it myself if that makes sense so i'm glad i did and also i am actually level 205 when i get to level 220 i will have the gold variant for the tnt skin which i cannot wait to unlock for it's going to be really really good so i think i'm going to end today's video here then guys please do leave a like subscribe turn on my notifications i upload every single day and i will see you in tomorrow's video peace